few days ago i posted a question on my youtube channel asking teachers what problems they face when create mathematics video and what i found that most of the teachers are facing problems of writing equation on either ms word file or presentation or exporting that into pdf i explored and what i found that writing equation in any office product is very easy and this is what i am going to show you in today's video you will learn how to write equation in any office product including onenote powerpoint and ms word so what are we waiting for let's start let's start with powerpoint because most of the teachers wants to write equation in powerpoint slide and then want to solve the equation so here i have created a powerpoint as you can see this is completely blank and what i am going to do i am going to create a new slide because most of the teacher write on this page correct where there is a title and then they write here on this particular page so now you have to write the equation how will you write a equation it's actually very easy in powerpoint all you need to do is go to this insert tab and click on this equation option when you click on this equation icon you will see that there are some common equations already present what you can do you can select either one of these equation and change the elements of it change the variables correct or you can actually insert new equation you can see the option here then you just below that you can see one more option ink equation ink is basically the name the writing on uh, screen microsoft call it ink so ink equation means that allow you to write on a screen and by writing on a screen you will be able to write the equation so if you have a pen uh, if you have a laptop that allow to write on the screen or if you have a, a digital writing pad then you can actually write it just like you write on paper and it will automatically convert it to an equation we will see that too but first let's see how to write equations because that's the most critical part so i will write by insert new equation so i'll click on insert new equation and you can see now at this moment i have this text type equation here and you can see that it is also selected and on top this the menu you will see one more menu this is equation tools is now in front of you now what you need to do you need to write a equation from here as you can see that almost all common equations are already given to you so what if you want to write fractions or you want to write a script radical integral large operators bracket function everything is given here so you can actually select from here like the simplest one is fraction so let's click on fractions and you will see these options now it's up to you how do you want to write it so like this simple one is here let's click here and then you will see the equation written but the variable place is blank now it's very important to understand how to change these uh, blank spaces how to write something on these blank spaces it's actually very easy but still you need to follow my instructions closely so now when i want to change the variable what i need to do i need to use the back button and forward button so let's click on this back and what you will see the cursor moving so let's press this button and you can see now rather than the whole equation the only one variable is selected simply if i now move back you can see the second variable is selected correct so this is how you can use back and forward button to change the variable so let's now change the variable here so i want to write 4 by 5 so i will write 4 by selecting the top variable then i will go forward and write 5 by selecting another variable so 4 by 5 is written correct so let's say if i want to write 4 by 5 plus 5 by 6 how to write it it's very easy so what i need to do right now my cursor is just below the second variable if i write plus now what will happen the plus sign will appear just after that and i don't want that what i want i want 4 by 5 plus something so let's press once again then you will see the cursor just after the whole equation and now if i'll write plus that will be like this and this is what i wanted 4 by 5 plus 5 by 
again i want 5 by 6 so then what i need to do i need to write the fraction so i will go again back to fraction and select the same style again and then now you know it's very easy simply go back write something so i want 5 by 6 so i will write 6 here then i'll go back and i will write 5 here done now i want to write equal to so i will write equal and now if i want to give it as a question to my students then i have to write question mark i will write question mark here see it's that simple the equation is now written if you want to change its size simply select the whole equation go to home all other things like bold italic underline is applicable to these things also all you need to do is select the whole thing like this and then you can bold it or you can change its size like this or this or this whatever it's up to you change the size or in fact you can change the mathematics font right now it's cambridge math actually so which is correct if you want to select a different font you can select that and this is how you can write all types of equations if you don't want that then it's that simple that simply go to format sorry go to home and then uncheck this the bullet is also removed you can move it in center right left wherever you want all the operations that are applied on any word file are available here as well once the equation is written you can now copy it and paste it wherever you want so let us say we have this ms word and i want the same equation here so what i can do i will copy the whole equation and control c go back and paste control v the equation is written here as a equation not as an image and all the applications all the um, functionality that was applicable to any font is also application applicable to this particular equation so i can actually do this keep text only or keep formatting see this is now has become a picture now i can't edit it but i can paste it and select the source formatting then you can see it will come as a source formatting and if you want to change something here like rather than 5 by 6 if i want 9 by 6 i can do it like this it's that simple so now i believe you know how to use these two keys to go to a particular variable change its value and your equation is ready so this was a small equation but we can write a big equation also or a most uh, more complicated equation also so if you want to write an equation in ms word the procedure is absolutely same all you need to do is go to insert tab click on equation in the equation you will find these equations and then simply click on insert new equation when you click here you can see this type equation here text is available and now you can select the style for example i want to write this cube root of what of something let us say write 9 here it's that simple simply use these two buttons right left this is very important if you do not understand how to use these two buttons to select appropriate variable and change the value then you will find it very difficult to write equation for example just after 9 i want to write equal to 3 so how will i do it so let us say so the common mistake that you can make just when 9 is selected you can write plus and what will happen now the plus is also inside cube root i don't want that so what i'll do i will delete it i will press the right button then i will write equal to see now it's out of the cube root so it's very important that you understand the use of these two buttons because these two buttons are going to play a very important role in changing equation also you can use the mouse to select appropriate variable and change its value so rather than 3 you can write 2 like this so now i believe you understand how to write equation and if you want to change its size it's that simple that you select the equation and then you change the size like this so only the equation is different equation part is different other things are same similarly if you want to write on one note let's go to one note now and if you want to write equation what we need to do simply go to insert 
then in insert you can click on this equation then equation tool will open which is similar the symbols are here the structures are here you can select these structures from here for example let's write something complex this time so let's say you want to write the summation let's click here and you want to write with the limit so i have write it summation with the limits then we want to change the limit so let's go and i will write n equal to i to up i have gone see not only these two buttons but up also helping here okay up down will also help so it's n equal to i to let us say 8 and then or let us say if you want to write infinite from where you will write infinite that must be there somewhere in the symbols i have to search for infinite as you can see it is just here so let's write infinite correct and then let's change the values after that so i will go here and then i want to write something some equation for example f x so now i believe you understand how to write equations with the help of structure you need to select correct structure and then you will be able to write you can see all the equations like all type of mathematical equations are available here even the complex one it's just about practicing it correct there's one more very important feature which i like if you see whenever you go to ms word or powerpoint and you want to insert any equation for example i want to insert an equation here so i click on insert and then i selected equation so it shows me built in list of equation and there are some equations that you want to write again and again and again and you don't want to copy paste them correct then what will you do it's very easy to handle this situation all you need to do after writing a equation for example let us say this equation is very common for the subject or for the topic that you are teaching so after writing this equation you can go to this you can go to this option and then you can save as new equation so let's save as new equation you need to give it a name okay that i believe you will be able to identify the name of the equation so whatever equation name is here so i am giving it custom custom equation now it's asking me where do you want to save this equation so i want to save it in equations gallery obviously the other things are not applicable like auto text bibliography is not applicable this is a equation category then in which category you want built in or you want to create a new category so suppose you are teaching a subject then you can create a new category and give it a name for example i will give it name trigonometry and i will save it so a new category is added similarly the subjects you are teaching you can add multiple categories to make it easy to find a pre-written equation then you can go to then you can if you want if you can also write a small description about it and then save in where building blocks or normal it's up to you and then insert content in its own paragraph or you want to uh, insert in a new line so let's create own paragraph so as you can see right now all of these equations are in their own paragraph so generally how we write we write some text then equation in a new paragraph then again some text in new paragraph so it's better to save it like this only now i'll click on ok and this particular equation is now saved in my library so whenever now i want to write a equation i will simply go somewhere where i want to write a equation click on insert and then click on this option and select more equation or let us say insert new equation no i have to search for that see my custom equation is here correct trigonometry section i have a custom equation if i click here the equation will be here and then i can change the values the way i was changing previously so like this correct now i believe you know all of these things how to write equation and how to save it let's now come to the second part because microsoft also allow you to write equation with ink that means with the help of digital pen so i have this digital pen and i want to write equation with this pen it's very easy to do that so let's do that so i will first fold my laptop 
fold my laptop like this. In order to insert an equation, I will go to insert, then I will search for equation. It must be somewhere here. See equation is coming here. Let's click on the equation and select ink equation option. I have selected ink equation. It will show me this particular area where you can see I can write math in this yellow area. And as I write, it will also show me the preview of the equation on this box. And I can write, I can erase, I can select and correct or I can clear the complete writing. So let's write. I want to write the formula that I have written many times to teach you. So ax square plus by plus c. This is what I want to write. So let's write. A x. So as you can see, as I am writing, it's showing. But as you can see, this x I have written it poorly. Let me now correct it. I want to see if it identify the correction. Yes, it identify the corrections as well. So it has identified the correction. I will now put i square here. Let's see square is written properly. And then I will write plus b y plus c is equal to zero. And you can see the complete equation is written properly. I will now click on insert. The equation is now insert. Let's write another equation. And this time a little complex. So I will select insert, then I will go to symbols and then I will select equation and finally I will select ink equation. Let's write something complex this time. Let's write the summation equation. So what I will do, I will make this summation symbol. Yeah, summation is appearing. That's really good. Then I will write the limit i equal to 0 to infinite. Yes, it identified the infinite also and then I can write f x plus i is equal to 0. Perfect, it's writing perfectly. Similarly, I will now insert this equation. See, it's inserted and this is equation, not image. Similarly, let me now add new slide here. And this time I want to write something more complex. So I will again go to insert go to symbols, go to equation and then I will click on ink equation and write something really complex here. So what can be complex thing? Let us say um, metric. I want to create a metric and in the metric I want to write x, y, 0, 1. Yeah, perfect. See, it identified that too. Let's connect it. So I will erase this part and this part. Now it's not able to identify it. I will write few more things. Let us say A, B and then I will put this bracket like here and it's not able to identify it properly. Maybe because this is little long. I will do it like this and then something is wrong definitely. So this B is not written properly. I will write B properly. So yeah, definitely it's facing some issues in identifying the equation which is not written in proper sequence. So let me now clear everything and now again I will write everything in a proper sequence. So whenever I am writing metric, I have to make this mark. I will say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I am trying to create a 3 by 3 matrix, yes. Perfectly it has created. So and then finally I can insert it. Good. Now I believe you know how to write mathematics equation in OneNote, PowerPoint or MS Word. Now you can write the equations and create awesome educational videos to teach mathematics. Don't forget to share this video with all the faculty who are teaching mathematics and want to create video or any educational content for their students. I will see you in my next video now. Namaste.